In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the Spectral AI Denoiser in Octane 4 for Maya. And for this video, I'm using the Space Cantina Interior 01.ma scene. So we have our little bar scene here with our robot and his alien guest. So if we take a look at the render settings here, I have the maximum samples set to 100, which is fairly low. And it does render uh, fairly quickly. You can see it's already done rendering. Uh, but we have a very noisy result. So the Spectral AI Denoiser is designed to allow you to render with lower max sample settings and still get a smooth result, which can greatly reduce your render times. So how do you work with the Spectral AI Denoiser? Well, let's go into the render settings. And I want to create a new imager node. So let's choose Create New. And uh, I'm going to up the exposure just a little bit so that the scene's a bit brighter. And let's scroll down here to the Spectral AI Denoiser settings. If I turn on Enable Denoising, you'll see it rendering again, but it's still going to look noisy. In order to see the denoised result, I need to create a denoise render pass. So let's go to the passes in the render settings, under render settings, choose create new. And I'm going to set the preview pass to denoiser output. The minute I turn that on, you can see suddenly the scene looks much smoother. Let's go back to the imager and take a look at the settings. So we have enable denoising turned on. Denoise volume is only useful if you have volumetric objects in the scene, which we don't in this scene. Denoise on completion means that the denoiser won't kick in until the maximum samples have been reached. So if you're working interactively, you'll actually want to turn this off. Let's rotate this a little bit. Give it a few moments to render so you can see it'll look very noisy and then suddenly the noise will disappear. There, it's gone now. Here's a minimum denoiser samples. This only works if denoise on completion is turned off. This is the minimum number of samples rendered before the denoiser starts calculating. The default is 10. You can set it lower or higher as needed. The maximum denoiser interval is a maximum interval between denoiser runs in seconds. This uh, also only operates if denoiser on completion is turned off. And this is usually most useful when you're rendering regions using the render region tool. So you're just tuning one part of the scene. The denoiser blend allows you to compare the original result. So this is the non-denoised result or the raw result. And this is the denoise result and then you can blend in between. Now in some cases in this scene the uh, alien's face is a little bit blotchy so we can do a number of things like we can increase the samples as needed. So if I go to the kernel settings here, I'll click on the kernel settings, And what you want to do is set the max samples to the lowest value possible where you're getting a nice clean result that's not too blotchy. So I'm going to try something like 500. Let's change our camera view to uh, allow it to render again. And you can see it kicks in at about 272 samples. And that can allow you to reduce uh, any of the blotchiness that you might see in the scene. So if you have the denoiser enabled, when you actually do a batch render, you'll get a standard beauty pass and you'll also get a separate pass for the denoised version. Um, you can also turn on these individual passes here for diffuse direct, diffuse indirect, reflection direct, reflection indirect, denoise emission, remainder, volume and volume emission. And then uh, I'm, since we don't have volumes, I'm not going to turn that on. 
but then what we can do is we can actually examine each of these different passes as it's rendering. So you see it's continuing to rendering and it gets up to about 272 samples. We should see the noise disappear. This 272 value is just peculiar to this particular scene. But you can see now we can switch between these different passes and they're all denoised. So that's the basics of working with the special AI denoiser in Octane 4 for Maya. As you can see, it can get you a really nice result very quickly. Uh, and it can reduce your render times. And so it's a wonderful new tool that's part of the Octane 4 tool set for Maya.